Hello, welcome once again to the floor of my living room. Uh, as you can see, I've just made a pumpkin spice latte and I'm making these more or less every day at the moment. Just gonna get myself a bit more comfortable. There we go. Yeah, I like to jump on about this time every year because it is my favorite time of year. I love everything autumnal, everything fall. A little bit of Halloween, scariness, spookiness, but I'm more the kind of cozy up with the pumpkin spice latte. Um, cute pumpkins decorated around the house kind of fall autumn girl so yeah I have been shopping this year and I wanted to show a couple of new bits that I bought for the house to accompany all of the old stuff that I've got down from the loft so we can decorate the house and normally I do it in September but we went to Mallorca for a couple of weeks and I'm kind of behind on schedule so I thought it's the first of October today let's crack on today and sort through it so I'm gonna start with like a mini haul and then I'll do some decorating so firstly I bought this mug from anthropology I think I bought this in like July or something oh apologies I am um, I'm still I'm still nursing a cold it's on its way out but I'm still a bit croaky so if I sound a bit strange that's why uh, yes this is from anthropology it is covered in gourds rather than like the standard pumpkin although there's like a standard pumpkin there but generally it's just those kind of butternut squash pumpkin, weird shaped pumpkin things and yes I've just made a pumpkin spice latte in this. It smells delightful, I have the pumpkin spice syrup from Monin and I use cinnamon on the top and it's like the perfect, perfect blend and I also use almond milk so it gives it like a like nutty flavour. So yeah, cheers. Okay I'll just start with what I have in front of me which is a massive Primark bag. <laughs> like so um not if not everything in here is even from primark i don't know why i've got such a big bag i think i bought a pair of boots we're not doing like a clothing situation um it's just gonna be like autumnal related things this is one thing i got from primark and it is a sherpa fitted sheet so it's kind of like a teddy bear texture but the idea of this is that it will go on our spare bed bed permanently and then if anybody's coming to stay then i can change it and put on a proper duvet but in the meantime, and while it's not in use, it can just have this teddy bear sofa thing about it and then I can decorate it with cushions and it'll just be nice and cosy and yeah, I just think it's like a nice, neutral, inoffensive, cosy thing to have as a, like an extra sofa in a way. Then we went to Asda Living. Uh, I didn't get much from there they didn't have a huge selection of things but what they did have was was really nice they had a couple of um, like rattan pumpkins but I have so many like individual pumpkins that I thought I just can't can't have another one so I bought this hello pumpkin banner pull in there a canvas but it's got these tiny little embroidered pumpkins on so there's hello pumpkin in a print uh, it's on a little wooden bar with some twine and it's just really really cute so we've got one of these in the hallway at the moment that says um, something to do with coffee. Uh, but this will be a nice change, a nice autumnal change. So it'll still be uh, on the same track of like a little canvas hanging there. But it'll be a nice fall addition. The other thing I bought was a new cushion for the sofa. I think this was about £10. I, I can't remember how much that was either. No nothing has prices on. I'm pretty sure this was £10, but it's like a really nice rustic orange colour. We have another one from last year, but it's quite rough when you're sitting against it, so it tends to get a bit itchy and we end up flipping it over. So this one is a nice soft one and I like that it's got some, like, some definition in between the colours as well. So I thought that was quite nice and that'll look nice on the sofa. Add a little bit of autumnal colour, a little bit of autumnal flair. Then popped to the one and only home sense, which is like the holy grail of Halloween stuff, uh, particularly in the UK. We don't have much, but we're, um, every year we, we tend to be getting more and more Halloween stuff, so home sense is where it's at. I'm not having a Halloween party, much to my dismay, but I uh, some <laughs> Halloween stuff for if I do have a party or if I do something I don't know something Halloween related but yeah these little skeleton uh, paper plates I thought they were just really really cute they were three pound and this was also three pound a little pack of skeleton napkins just dancing around 
but I thought together they would be really really cute if I did do anything autumnal or Halloween inspired get together there's not many there uh, 12 12 of them look about the same in them as well which is it's not too bad actually for three pound each but I just thought the designs were really really cute another kind of kitchen related item this was eight pound this was also from home sense and it's just like a little case little ceramic ceramic cake dish it's a ceramic cake dish I don't know really what you would call it but it is adorable and I just thought it was a really nice colour the pattern's really really cute all along the sides of it it's got a little pumpkin in the middle which really bothers me that it's not central and I don't, I don't know why but the uh, the perfectionist in me is not happy about it if this could just move over a little bit this was like the only one that they had and I didn't want to let it go so um yeah I bought it but I just thought this would be really cute for uh, banana bread which is like the only thing that I can actually bake but maybe I can try like a pumpkin bread or something along the lines of that like an apple thing I don't know but I just thought it was really really cute and it might inspire me to bake a little bit more this was a bit of a spur of the moment thing I saw it and I just couldn't leave it behind I've not taken it out of the packaging yet because I don't know where I'm gonna put it I'm thinking the stairs but it's kind of like a day of the dead garland with these little skeletons that are on I think, you know those got kind of like hemp bags that you get like canvas sacks kind of looks like that a little bit and then it's white on the front with little felt details on the skeletons and they've all got slightly different faces all the way along I'm not sure how big this is either but it's got quite a few in there Two, three, four, six, seven, eight. I think I can see eight or nine in there yeah eight, eight or nine but I was thinking this could perhaps go along the stairs as like a little garland along the stairs like you do for Christmas but again I just thought it was really really cute that was eight pound ten pound but yeah adorable very very cute and lastly I bought some candles because what else are you going to home sense for if you didn't buy candles uh, I've got the goblins and ghouls and pumpkin thyme I'm not a massive pumpkin sweet smelling person but this one I'm pretty sure does smell like pumpkins yeah this is creamy spiced and sweet black vanilla heavy cream nutmeg custard and brown sugar so it's very very sweet but it was the less sweet of most of the pumpkin range and I just like the design of this one I've got another one from last year which is over here somewhere uh, that's like bats and brews yeah bats and brews and this one is ghosts and goblins and ghouls it's just really cute and aesthetic and it will go with everything in the house and this one I bought because it was green I just thought it was interesting because everything else is orange or black but I like that this has got like a nice dark green effect to it almost like a wine bottle it's really nice and that's definitely that's definitely not as sweet and it still smells a bit manly if that's the right way to put it it doesn't say what it is unfortunately but yeah pump, pumpkin pumpkin and thyme I like this one a lot still kind of pumpkin-y autumnal but not as sweet and that is it for my little mini pumpkin haul uh, I'm gonna start decorating the house because I've been wanting to do it for so long now and it's time it is time starting to get much darker much earlier now so it's now about six o'clock and um, the sun's basically gone down behind the houses and I can no longer see anything so um, 
yeah, that's just quite annoying, but that's just, um, it is what it is come the winter time. I do, it's one thing I do miss, I do miss having um, the sunshine, so I'm going to try and whip through the last of this decorating uh, fairly, fairly speedily. Started getting all the pumpkins out, and I thought I would um, just display them, because it's quite funny how many I've managed to accumulate over the years. So, big pumpkin Jack Skellington was from Sainsbury's last year. Then the white pumpkins are from Amazon, the grey ones are from Ikea from last year. This green pumpkin is actually new that I forgot about in the haul, but that is from Primark this year. It's just a ceramic one, but it's really nice and I love the colour of it. Kind of like an olive, olive green. This was only a couple of pounds, I can't remember how much, maybe like four pound? Uh, but I just really like the colour of it. the light now so I think I might put this garland up now but I'm gonna do it in the dark so I will film some clips tomorrow just to show what it looks like but I think it's gonna look really cute if you don't see any clips while I'm speaking right now it didn't work hopefully it did work because I think it will look really good but yeah I'm gonna take it out of the box now so we can have a better look at it it would have the stickiest sellotape in the world on it, wouldn't it? Oh, I love it. Oh, I, I didn't, I nearly didn't pick this up, but I'm really glad I did. How cute it is. I just think it's adorable. It kind of looks like, um, like a cross between Hedwig and Voldemort. That's the vibes it's giving me. It's giving me like tiny little birds, but also could just be Voldemort's face. Oh my Harry Potter nerds out there, what do you think it looks like? Hedwig, Voldemort, none of the above. Yeah, I'll probably wrap this up now. I've, uh, not wrap this up, I will hang this up now, but I will wrap up the video. Now I've decorated behind, I've put the garland underneath that we had last year, which is from Lights for Fun. Fully recommend their website, it's amazing. I bought our autumn wreath that's also on the door from there and it's great, I love it. And I've got some more pumpkins and Jack Skellington goes up there. And then over here I've added some candles and more pumpkins. And the little cat has made its way onto there as well, where I think last year it was on here, but I think it just makes sense for it to be there this year. So, yeah, that's that's my Halloween 2022. 22. Have a happy spooky season, and bye. <laughs> well, hello there. The Grand Orleans Imperial Island Hotel welcomes you and your lovely group of benefactresses. Nose holes? Yeah, nostrils. Nose holes. Witches have larger nose holes than normal people. When they need to sniff out a child, those nose holes can grow out as big as eight inches in diameter.